Well, there was something missing in my backyard. And what it was, was all I had was, was grass. Got my futons hanging up, getting a little sun. So what I decided to do is, along with my wife and my little daughter, is we put her in a garden. Right in the middle of our grass. I guess I wanted to like to create like an island kind of thing. And uh, I put one fruit tree in here. This is my uh, plum tree. One of them ultra sweet ones. And uh, I put a lot of different types of vegetables in. See if I can lay this hose down. Alright, I'll just lay the hose down right there to water down my... And, uh, well, I put in some uh, cilantro, some peppers, get my shadow out of this. I've got some bell peppers, I've got red cabbage. A bunch of different types of tomato plants. Some I planted on a plastic deal that I made up. Underneath here is Miracle Grow, Miracle Grow uh, soil. Under this one right here is Miracle Grow with no plastic and just uh, wood chips. And then these over here. I planted with just the simple dirt, which around here most of your dirt is a mixture of clay and uh, farming dirt, because all this area used to be farming farms at one time. And then around the edge, I uh, planted, uh, I believe these are marigolds, marigolds, yeah, marigolds, which give off a smell that a lot of bugs find distasteful. So I figured that would help keep the bugs off my vegetables. And I've got those going around the whole edge. And those should bloom up nicely. So to give you guys an idea, on around here, motorcycles love to cruise on Sunday. As you can see, it's a nice little island. Any suggestions that you guys have, I mean, it's too late now, i got a big hole in my grass. But, uh, <clears throat> any suggestions to make it maybe stand out, maybe some rocks maybe to make it look better? I don't know. But, uh, the edging material I used is from recycled uh, milk cartons and stuff like that. And it basically, I mean, it's kind of expensive, but the project itself, just the edging, uh, cost about $60 and then the wood chips all the wood chips that I used probably a good $12 the soil was probably about $14 $20 the plants I got at a really good price all the plants that you see there cost me about $20 except for the fruit tree which is 25 bucks so I did spend an awful lot of money but I I figured once I get it going it ended up paying for itself because I usually grow my own vegetables and I happen to have a little bit of extra time on my hands. I do have the weekends off so I do uh, have the ability to uh, work in the garden. And this kind of, it stakes down and it connects right there. It seems pretty sturdy. And I think it looks pretty good. If you guys have any suggestions or advice for me, um, leave some comments. And I put it kind of in the middle of the yard so it'd soak up any extra moisture that I did pick up. Because we do tend to get a lot of rain. That's about it. You guys have a nice weekend.